Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add the product gallery images for each variable in a WooCommerce website. So let's consider that you have different variations of a product and you want to show different gallery images for each variation. So we will install a free plugin to add product gallery images for each variation in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example of the product gallery for each variation. Here you will see three different colors for this particular product. We have blue, green and red color. We also have two different variations for the size Excel and XSL. Right now it is set to blue color. If I change it to green color, you will see the product gallery in green color. So you can add green color images for this particular product. If I change it to red color, you will see the gallery slider is also changed and you will see all the images for this particular color only. Now if I refresh this product page, you will see three different colors here green, blue, and red. So if someone select blue color and Excel, it will show the product gallery in that color only. Now for this color variation, instead of using a drop down box, I have used variation swatches plugin for the WooCommerce. So I'll show you how you can create a variable product, how you can use a global attribute and how you can add a product gallery for each variable using a free plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. So let's start by creating a variable product. For each variation, we are going to add a separate image gallery. So let's go to products and go to add new. Let's add a name for this product. Let's say men's shirt. We are going to create a variable shirt product. Let's not add a description and the short description. Here we are going to select a variable product and let's select the category, the shirts category that I have created for this product. And let's add product image. So I'm going to add one product image. Let's use this one. So this will be the product image. And let's add product gallery images. This gallery image is not the variation gallery. We are just adding it for the product only images for the gallery. All right, now we have selected variable product. For this, we need to create an attributes. So if I go to attributes, I can create the colors attribute or size attribute. However, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a global attribute for this product. So let's go to attributes under products. You will see attributes. Click on attributes. First, we will create a global attribute. Let's name it as colors. So this will be the global attribute and slug will be added automatically custom ordering. Now here I'm using variation swatches plugin. This swatches plugin will let us use colors or images for the variation. I'll show you how does this work. So instead of using a drop down selection option, we can use colors or images. Now in this example, I'm going to use colors for the variation swatches. Let me show you the plugin that I have used. So this is the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. It is designed by Cartflows. I have published a separate video on how to use the variation swatches plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch this video. Let's go back to attributes. We have created one attribute that is colors. Used the variation swatches type as colors. Click on add attribute. So this is the attribute. Now click on configure terms. We will add some colors here. So let's start with the blue color and from here I'm going to select the color. So this will be the blue color. Let's add one more green. And let's add a red. All right, so we have got three different colors. 
let's go back and let's publish this product we will add the attribute later so the product is published let's go to attributes and from here select the global attribute that we have created colors and select the attribute blue green and red so we have got three different variations and you need to check this option used for variation so that these colors will be used for the variations now you can add more attributes such as size so you can add multiple attributes as of now i'm going to add these three variations if you want to create more attributes you can click on add new and create a new one let's say size i'm going to add two different sizes let's say excel and xxl so this is a new attribute that we have added click on save attributes so here you will see two sizes and three colors all right now let's go to variations and click on generate variations do you want to generate all variations click ok so we have got six different variations three colors and two sizes you will see a blue xl blue xxl green xl green xxl so these are the variations now you can expand each variation and add image for this variation now here you will see we have got option to select only one image it's not the gallery image so let's add the image for the blue i'm going to select this one and let's add the price also let's say hundred dollars and eighty dollars is the sale price let's go to the second variation that is also a blue one xxl i'm going to add the same price here next one is green so select green color again green a red all right so we have got color we have got the pricing for each variation let's update it and let's see how does this look let's view the product so this is the default layout of the variable product you will see three different colors and two sizes so I, if i select blue xl you will see the blue xl color image if i select green xl you will see green color if i select red excel you will see the red color so this is how it works now you will see the gallery is still using the same three images all right now we will add a gallery for each variation so for this we need to add a new plugin so let's go to plugins and click on add new and here search for variation images gallery now you will see different free plugins that you can install this is one of the plugins additional variations however this free version has limitations on gallery images you can add only two gallery images for each product so we are going to install this plugin variation images gallery for woocommerce designed by a radius theme so click on install now click on activate now here you will see general settings thumbnail views thumbnail items per row so this is for the gallery in the thumbnail we will go through these settings later let's go back to product and refresh it now let's go to variations now let's go to the first variation that is blue excel and you will see an option here add gallery images click on it and we will add two more images here for this gallery you will see two images are added let's go to the next one add gallery image for this one 
let's go to green color and add green images let's go to red and add a red color images done now update it let's go to product and refresh it now here you will see the default layout of this product you will see three different colors now if i select blue color and the size you will see the gallery images for this blue color only so now we have got gallery images for this particular color. If I go to a green color, you will see the gallery images for the green color shirt. If I go to red, you will see gallery images for the red color only. So here we have added image gallery for each variation and we have used a free plugin. You can add multiple images. Right now I have only two images, so it shows two images. Now, if I go to settings, you will see the basic settings of this plugin. You can go through these settings. These are simple settings. You can change the number of images that you want to show in the thumbnail gallery. Gallery width will be 100%. If I go to advanced, you will see zoom gallery image. If I here, you will see the zoom option. You can zoom the image. Then light box. When you click on it, it will open the light box. Some settings are for the pro plugin only. Preloader style will be blur. Let's say if I change from a red to green, you will see some blur effect there. You can also change it to fade or gray. Zoom button position will be top right. You will see it here, zoom button position. So you can change these settings easily. It's not that difficult. You can simply go through these settings. If not, you can keep the default settings. The default settings are pretty good. So this is how you can add the gallery images for each variable product in WooCommerce. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.